My name is Levi Mboni, and uh, that is the popular nickname, Grandpa. I am so blessed to be with you guys this morning. Just looking at the impact that WFG has given us to create in our community. I want to thank the man upstairs for giving us such an opportunity. And I want to thank my wife for being supportive all these years through this process. I came into this company and I learned that the company mission statement is no family left behind. And my family is the nursing family. Any nurses in this house? <laughs> and I turned around and I started a movement, guys. I am part of a movement called the Wakanda Nation. Is that Wakanda Nation in this house? There is something about immigrants that I cannot describe, but I truly believe that their DNA is designed to win. And all that they've been looking for is a platform that can allow them to excel. And WFG is that platform. WFG is that platform. Ten years ago, my good friend, Dr. Martin Quende, introduced me to this business. Someone that I grew up with, walking, you know, with no shoe for hours to go to school. True story. And uh, I came down to the 2014 convention, and the theme was Turning Point. Have you ever felt like everything they were doing at an event was do being done for you? That's how I felt. It was a turning point. And after all those years in nursing, looking at these hardworking men and women at end of life struggling financially, it disturbed me. But guess what? I was seeing myself exactly like these folk because I wasn't different. I wasn't different. I'm a hospice nurse, folks, and I spent nine years at the bedside with end of life patients. And if you don't know what that means, I want you to look at the eyes of somebody whom they say is dying in six months. And imagine what is going through their thought process. What do you think is going through? Planning the next vacation? We're going to Bora Bora? No. It's a complete assessment of what they ought to have done that they didn't do. It's the impact on the lives they're going to leave behind that is going through their minds. The question is, if that is you, what kind of impact are you going to leave behind? Then I saw WFG came, and I said, a chance, a chance. This is a chance for me to make sure that no one that I cross paths with should ever be like my patients who were full of regrets on their dying beds. Of course, you live an event like this, you think everything, when you go back home, everybody's just going to say yes, right? No, sorry. It didn't happen. But the good news is that at the initial stage, guys, I had to combine a dream with faith. I combined my dream with faith. So when the dream was actually watering down, faith held me up. Faith. And as I continue, I found a lady called Emilia Marfo Saben. When everybody would tell me no, no Levi, not interested, bye bye, good information. I keep going. My family is a nursing family, so my first business plan was go get 100 nurses direct, expecting that the 100 we we'll get another 400. I'm going to have 500 licensed nurses. And if I just have a 50, a $100 override on one, I'm going to make 50,000. Because when I came here, people talk about 50,000 a month. 50,000 a month was unimaginable because that was year to date, half a year for me. 
Then I still, I keep going. That was my business plan, I'll show everybody. I didn't even know how to sell a policy. I just wanted to recruit them to give them a chance. And I have a plan to make it 50,000 a month. It's you come in business with me, we go get, you know, 500 people, you get a chance to make $50,000 a month. Amelia came, I believe, level increased a little bit. She's a CPA. She has some credibility. Then a year after, Daniel and Linda Fombo came in. The game changed. A couple of years after, Vera came in. Right? All these millionaires, guys, I saw them walk through this stage on Wednesday. My heart just melted because for two years, guys, most of what I hear was no, Levi, not interested, bye-bye, and all of that. And I see all these people, Stefania Fombo, Patricia Amponsa, Emmanuel Teta, Lilian Napono, Prince, all these people from a little dream walk this stage. Develop a team culture, guys. Develop a team culture. How about winning be a team culture? As I look at this, I look at the next five years, I think this arena will be small for the Wakanda nation. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. We're not looking at having a good semester. We're not looking at having a good year. We're going to have a good decade. A good decade for continuous growth. Few things I want to share with you guys this morning. Guys, develop a team culture, number one. Number two, do a self-assessment and eliminate the distractions in your life. We get too distracted, guys. I'm saying that because I was one of those. If I see soccer, I pause. That's my distraction. I had to take it out. And uh, to say, get a mentor is, I don't know how to say that, but when Dr. Martin introduced me to this young man called Eric Olson, it changed my entire life, guys. It changed my entire life. It's constantly scanning through my blind spots. Constantly scanning through my blind spot and challenging me every day. Guys, I want to tell you this. Leave this convention with nothing bigger than a decision, than a decision because the power of a decision. Leave this convention with intent that you're gonna go change your community one person at a time and the entire community is gonna be elevated. That's what I did for my community. You can do it for your community. Guys, truly, WFG is a blessing. I will see you at the top. Thank you.